welcome to the Town Board regular meeting uh, of the Town Board of Austin for Tuesday, November 13th, 2018. Please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Councilmember Shaw? Present. Councilmember Dutori? Present. Councilmember Wilcher? Present. Councilmember Feldman? Present. And Supervisor Levenberg? Present. Okay, so we are going to begin tonight with the continuation of two public hearings, the first of which is regarding proposed local law number four of 2018, leaf blowers, which is soon to not be local law number four anymore because we have another local law number four that we'll be adopting hopefully later this evening. Is there anybody here to address the public on leaf blower proposed legislation? If so, would you please come up to the microphone and state your name and address for interest? Okay, so. Hello. Hi. Hi. Donna, how are you? <laughs> At the work session last week, uh, the board had a discussion about this, and so I believe we're going to be making further revisions, correct, to that local law? Correct. Um, so. We can get that done and then if you wanted to adjourn the public hearing for another two weeks and we can get that revised well in advance of being able to circulate it before the next public hearing so that we can see if there's any more comments on that and then if not take it from there okay so do we have a date i believe it's the 27th okay so uh, could i have a motion to adjourn the public hearing on the proposed leaf blower law until november 27th Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, thank you. And next up, we have uh, the, you'd like to reopen the public hearing on proposed local law number six of 2018 regarding our solar code. Last week at our work session, uh, gentleman Carlos Desmaras had attended and submitted some comments to us that he would like to be considered as part of the public record. I forwarded them to the clerk. Um, but specifically, I just wanted to make mention that he had highlighted some areas for consideration with an eye to changes in technology in solar storage materials that are on the horizon. Um, those comments have also been shared with the board and I would uh, like to ask the board if in addition to any comments received tonight, they would like to have one more work session to be heard. Comments? I would, yes. Yes, yes. okay, fantastic. Uh, in that case, I just want to open it up to the public for any other comments on our proposed solar code. Come on up. Uh, hi, my name is Travis Scott from CVE Group. Um, obviously, I don't know what the comments were, but just have a general quick statement. Um, on behalf of CVE Group, I'd like to thank everyone from the town for all their hard work on this law. We know that drafting and adopting legislation that allows for solar development is a complicated process. It requires balancing many different items and interests. With that said, we believe that the law in its current form incorporates the many voices heard during these hearings and paves the way for Austin to successfully implement solar energy generating systems and start reaping the benefits of this renewable resource. The drafting of this law by the town shows a strong commitment to take tangible actions towards a sustainable future, and we believe that future developers have a responsibility to mirror and honor that commitment by operating transparently in open collaboration with the town and its citizens while also, ensure, while also ensuring that systems are constructed and maintained in ways that disrupt the local community environment as little as possible. It is important that these projects are valuable members of the communities that they serve. With all this in mind, we again would like to thank the town of Austin for all your hard work on this important and laudable legislation and show our support for the eventual adopting of this law. Thank you. Thank you. A lovely statement. <laughs> Anybody else have any other comments on proposed local law number six? Adama, have some suggestions for us? Well, just to respond to um, Mr. Scott's comment about not being able to see the, the yes. comments that had been submitted. Yes, they are part of the public record. So if you wanted to submit a FOIL request to the town clerk, you can, you can get comments that have been made part of the record if that's something that you were interested in just as a procedural matter. Um, but they will be discussed at a work session, as the supervisor was mentioning. Um, do we have a work session next week? Okay. And so maybe I think that would 
I think work for, session next week and then continue it, the public hearing to the adjourn and continue the public hearing to the 27th. Okay. Might I have a motion to do that? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And just to clear, since I didn't say it, we are, um, the motion was to adjourn public hearing on proposed local law number six to November 27th. Thank you all. I think everybody voted. Yes? Okay. All those were in favor. Fantastic. Um, okay. Next up, we are going to launch into announcements. Do any of my colleagues have anything? Or would you like me to begin? Okay. So this past, this past weekend, our nation paused to celebrate and thank all those who have served our military and spent some time contemplating the idea of service. I would like to once again thank all of the brave men and women of, of our community who have served and who continue to defend and protect us around the world. I would also like to recognize the Central Committee of Organized War Veterans and the American Legion Post 506 for representing us so honorably at the local level. We are truly blessed to have such an honored history of service here in Ossining. We also have some exciting news today as the paving on Hawks Avenue was completed yesterday. We are sure that the residents of the neighborhood are going to be pleased with their new smooth ride home, um, as well as many of the folks who travel that way just as a cut through. We know there's quite a few of them. I also want to thank our highway superintendent, Michael G. O'Connor, for his coordination and oversight, as well as some help from uh, Paul Frioli, town engineer, as well as our highway foreman, Matteo Villardo, and his crew, and for some help from the parks and cemetery crews for um, preparation for the road and hauling some of the materials away that were part of this reclamation project process. We look forward to discussing the next road to get the royal treatment with our highway department early next year. On Thursday, November 15th, the Austin Documentary and Discussion Series will host a screening of Plastic Paradise, a documentary about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Did you know that the largest plastic accumulation zone on Earth, or the GPGP, covers, I have to say it, yip, yip. Oh, I'm just wondering, covers an area twice the size of Texas in the ocean between Hawaii and California? How did this happen? What can we do to fix it? Learn more next Thursday in the Blue Dars Theater, beginning at 6.30 p.m. The film will be followed by a panel discussion, and this event is free to the public, so please join. Opening that very evening as well is Of Aliens and Avocados, a series of one-act readings at the Westchester Collaborative Theater, beginning the evening of Thursday the 15th and lasting through the afternoon of Sunday the 18th, come see seven original pieces written by some fantastic playwrights and performed right here in Austin. Visit wctheater, spelled E-R, dot org to get your tickets. On the evening of Friday, November 16th, check out Denny Bonet live at the Steamer Firehouse at 117 Main Street. Denny is not only a singer-songwriter, but an electric violinist, and she has toured and recorded with artists like Cindy Lauper, R.E.M., and Sarah McLaughlin. Doors open at 7.15 for an 8 p.m. show. Tickets are $20 each, or $15 if you're a member of the Austin Arts Council, and they're available at austinartscouncil.org. Also on Friday evening the 16th, the Bethany Arts Community will be holding its first annual fundraiser, The Art of Giving, between 7 and 10 p.m. at Bethany. Bethany has been such a welcome addition to our community, and I'm so pleased to celebrate them in this way while thanking them for the programming they've offered and learning about what's coming up next. Uh, at last count, there were only 36 tickets left, so make haste. Go to bethanyarts.org so you can secure yours. Another choice that evening that will make you feel good about giving back is the Festive Tea to benefit the Austin Children's Center. Hosted by Tastefully Yours on Pleasantville Road in Briarcliff Manor, get into the holiday spirit with proceeds going to benefit OCC. This event will also take place on the evening of Saturday, November 17th. Tickets are available for purchase at Hallbrook Cottage, also on Pleasantville Road, or at hallbrookcottage.com for $125 each. Can't make it to the event, but you still want to help. A portion of proceeds from sales at Holbrook Cottage on the 16th and 17th of November will also go to benefit the Children's Center. Get your holiday shopping squared away while helping one of our community's worthiest organizations. The Sing Sing Swing is coming up this Sunday. Hope you have already bought your tickets, but if not, there's still time. Climb aboard the Hornblower Hybrid for a night of music, dancing, and history 
at, with the Vince Lombardi Band, they were fantastic, as we cruise up the Hudson River from Yonkers and see Austin from a whole new vantage point. Proceeds benefit the Sing Sing Prison Museum Project, which is well underway and will be a transformative project, not just for Austin, but for Westchester and all of the Hudson Valley. Visit SingSingPrisonMuseum.org to get your tickets today. Believe it or not, Thanksgiving is coming up next week, which means that the shopping season is upon us. Shop local at the Northeast Etsy Artist Collective on Friday, November 23rd, between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., and Saturday, November 24th, between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., right in our very own Austin Public Library. You can pick up locally crafted gifts for the holidays, and 15% of the proceeds will go to benefit the Friends of the Austin Public Library. Always great when you can direct your spending right back into our community. Um, you can wander from there straight over to Molita's Bazaar on Main Street as well for more local gift options on Saturday, November 24th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And another local gift favorite is Campwood's Holiday Craft Fair on Saturday, December 1st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday, December 2nd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you have lots of options to buy your gifts locally. Make sure also to buy some toys and donate toys for tots. We will have um, uh, collections, uh, boxes set up locally. And I know we're, we're going to be collecting some version of toys. I don't know if it's toys for tots, but to give to our local children um, in the building at 16 Croton Avenue. So make sure that you um, buy some extra un unwrapped gifts for children and leave them there. On November 26th, Participate in Meet the Entrepreneur Next Door with Austinate Innovates, 7 to 9 p.m. at Good Choice Kitchen. Meet Soli Pierce from Sherwood Forest Design and David Schofield from SBS Printing and Shipping and learn more about our local entrepreneurs and their success stories. Finally, as we are now well into November, please be reminded that there is no on-street parking allowed in the unincorporated town from November 1st through March 31st. As we are seeing some light snow in the forecast for this Thursday, I believe, um, it's a good, as good a time as any to refresh your memory about on-street parking regulations in the Village of Austin, too. But better safe than sorry. Make sure you check out the Village of Austin website to see what um, those regulations are. And that is it for my announcements. Are there any other announcements from my colleagues? All right. <laughs> okay. Um, it is, it reminded me that time of year. I can't believe it's here already. But the Austin Vote and Canoe Club will be doing a holiday toy drive. If you have a business or a get together at your house that you'd like to encourage your guests to bring toys, um, we'll happily bring you a box or get you a box or you can make your own box. Um, if you're a business, a local business or group, um, we could put a box there too. All the toys that the Austin Boat and Canoe Club Toy Drive collects will stay in Austin for the Austin community and the Austin children. So anybody interested, um, reach out to me. At the town offices, and I will happily get the information to you. Thank you. Of any sort. Okay. So in that case, let's move to liaison reports. Are there any liaison reports for liaisons for various committees? Okay. <laughs> We have no departmental reports at this time, um, so we are going to launch into our resolutions. Okay. Um, approval of minutes, regular meeting. Resolve that the Town Board of the Town of Austin hereby approves the, no uh, blah, blah, approves the October 9th, 2018 minutes of the regular meeting as presented. Is it possible, just a quick question before we go in, can we adopt the four sets of minutes all at once or not? Well, the issue um, is that oh, um, if somebody's the not there, oh, right. okay, so people aren't there. At any of the meetings, I don't believe that you're adopting minutes for. And um, I printed out the minutes. For, we're actually we were missing Councilwoman Dettori on the 16th and Councilwoman Feldman on the first. Okay, yeah. so so uh, so you don't have three people that can vote Got it. on all of the minutes. Okay, no. all right. So in that case, let's just take one at okay. a time. All right. Yeah, and we're at letter A. Um, do I have a motion for approval of the minutes for October 9th? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed abstentions. Okay. Okay. Um, next, approval minutes. Special meeting resolved that the town board of the town of Austin hereby approves the October 16th, 2018 minutes of the special meeting as presented. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Abstain. Okay. Um, approval of minutes regular meeting resolve of the town board of the town of Austin hereby approves the October 23rd 2018 minutes of the regular meeting as presented. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Um, approval minutes special meeting resolve that the town board of the town of Austin hereby approves the November 1st 2018 minutes of the special meeting as presented. Do I have a motion? So moved. All in there. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Abstain. Um, before okay. we go to our next um, item, I'd just like to say um, we're very happy to have Councilman Vulture back with us Yay. and not having to abstain from this evening's meeting <laughs> minutes when we get to approve them at a future meeting. Um, and we really, really are quite happy to have you back by my side. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, approval of de voucher detail report. Resolved that the town board hereby approves the voucher detail report dated November 13th, 2018, in the amount of $176,665.71. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Uh, okay. So this week we have a somewhat light voucher detail report as we get back into our regular schedule. We had several bills for the engineering design and boring tests out on McCarthy Drive. And we paid uh, OVAC, our last payment, 2018. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Oh, you're abstaining from the voucher detail? Oh, we just we yeah. just got the. Are you approved? Okay, we're going to take back your abstention. Then. <laughs> okay. So all those in favor, one more time. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Um, finance capital project number 2018-5212, North State Road Bike Lane, phase one. Resolve that the town board of the town of Austin authorizes opening a 2018 capital project number 2018-5212, entitled North State Road Bike Lane, phase one, with a project budget of $80,000 for planning and phase one implementation of a... Bike lane on North State Road. The project will be funded by grant funds from Hudson River Valley Greenway and NYSERDA. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. So we have been talking about this project and we have um, had some grant money that we are putting towards it and we had to open up um, as well as uh, some town matching funds and we have to open up a capital project so we can begin to issue a PO to the company that's going to begin uh, Sam Schwartz that we have um, the design and some engineering, um, and then any local implementation will be done in-house. So we're hoping to get that started, and we're excited. This was part of the original um, Millwood Austin Go plan, and the, sta the stakeholders group, and this was considered sort of the low-hanging fruit was to striping on North State Road for, for bicycles uh, as part of the connectivity from Austin to Millwood. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, calling for a public hearing, 2019 preliminary budget. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Austin hereby calls for a public hearing to be held on Tuesday, November 27th, 2018 at 7.30 p.m. at the Birdsall Fagan Police Court Facility, 8688 Spring Street, Austin, New York, in the matter of the 2019 preliminary budget for the Town of Austin. Do I have a motion? Second. Okay, so... We are going to complete our internal meetings with department heads tomorrow, Wednesday, between 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. at 16 Croton Avenue. These meetings are open to the public. Feel free to join us on the third floor of 16 Croton Ave. Our budget presentation will be at our next work session, which is Tuesday, uh, November 20th at 16 Croton Avenue, starting at 7.30 p.m. Please join us for that meeting as well, or you can catch it on YouTube when we look forward to hearing from our budget director, Madeline Zahach, who is going to do um, a wonderful job, as she always does, um, making it very easy to understand where all the money is going, our budget. Um, do I have a motion? Do I already motion. have a motion? Yes. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Thanks.
Okay. Um, status and hourly rate change, interim town clerk slash confidential secretary to the supervisor. Whereas in July 2018, the town board appointed Victoria Caffarelli, confidential secretary to the supervisor, to a second line position of town clerk on a temporary basis at a rate of $23 per hour. And whereas Ms. Caffarelli has been working approximately 30 hours per week between these two titles, which the town board believes should afford her status as a full-time employee, therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Austin hereby increases her hourly rate in the position of town clerk to $35 per hour, effective November 13th, 2018, and be it further resolved that the town board does hereby confer upon Ms. Caffarelli full-time status, which includes treatment as prescribed by the town of Austin elected and appointed officials handbook for so long as she continues to work in excess of 30 hours per week between these two titles. Do I have a motion? I'll move. Okay, so um, just to clarify, as you may remember, Town Clerk Marion Roberts has been out tending to some medical issues since this past summer, and the Town Board appointed Victoria Caffarelli to serve as Interim Town Clerk until Marion is able to return. Victoria is an hourly employee, and this resolution will allow us to have Victoria work more hours, which will help us as we finish up the year, and will also adjust her compensation slightly to a rate that we believe more accurately reflects the work she's doing as Interim Clerk. This rate will only apply when she is wearing her clerk hat. I want to finish by thanking Victoria for stepping up into this role and supporting the town and village in Marianne's absence. She is doing a great job. We are lucky to have her. Thank you. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Um, resolution adopting local law number 4 of 2018, repealing chapter 50 of the town code and amending chapter 200 with respect to accessory apartments. Whereas the Town of Austin Town Board is considering the adoption of Local Law Number 4 of 2018, formally proposed Local Law Number 5 of 2018, which would repeal Chapter 50 of the Town Code and amend Chapter 200 with respect to accessory apartments, the proposed action. And whereas this local law is determined to be an exercise of the police powers of the town to protect the public health, safety, and welfare of its residents, and also serves to an important function in providing diversity of housing in Austin without changing the low density predominantly single-family character of the town and whereas the town board has had regulations governing governing accessory apartments as a special permit use in its code since 1999 and this local law is intended to among other things move said regulations to the zoning chapter of the code and allow accessory apartments in detached accessory buildings while still requiring a special permit and whereas a public hearing on the proposed local law was duly noticed opened on July 24 2018 adjourned to and continued at many subsequent town board meetings and members of the public having had the opportunity to be heard, the public hearing was closed on October 23rd, 2018. And whereas the town board is the only involved agency and therefore the lead agency for the purposes of conducting the environmental review pursuant to the State Environmental Quality Review Act, Seeker, and whereas the town board compiled complied with the referral and notice requirements of section 239 of the New York State General Municipal Law. And whereas in response to said referral, the Westchester County Planning Board responded by letter dated October 12, 2018, expressing its support for allowing accessory apartments as such units expand the range of housing types available in Westchester communities and also recommended that the town consider allowing accessory apartments as a permitted use instead of a special permit use on the grounds that it could place further administrative burden and cost on the homeowner and whereas said local law has been on the desks of the members of the town board of the town of Austin for at least seven days exclusive of Sunday prior to the adoption of this resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. One, the town board hereby adopts and incorporates the recitations and statements set forth above as as if fully set forth and resolved herein. Two, pursuant to Seeker, the town board hereby adopts the attached negative declaration for the reasons stated therein, thereby finding that the proposed action will not result in any significant adverse environmental impacts. The t three, the town board, after due deliberation, finds that it is in its best. It is in the best interest of the town to adopt said local law, and the town board hereby adopts local law number 5 of 2018, a copy of which is attached here to and made part of this resolution. Four, to the extent required by law, the town board hereby overrides the recommendation of the Westchester County Planning Board to allow accessory apartments as a permitted use as opposed to a special permit use. The town board finds that accessory apartments have been permitted by special permit in the town for nearly 20 years with approval from the Zoning Board of Appeals, which is generally a streamlined process that has had 
that has a minimal financial burden on the applicants while allowing the town to oversee and monitor the accessory apartments within the town to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of the public and maintain the primarily single family character of the town. Five, the town clerk is directed to enter said local law in the minutes of this meeting into the local law book for the town of Austin to publish said minutes in a newspaper published in the town, if any, or in such newspaper published in the county in which such town may be located having a circulation in such town, and affidavits of said publication shall be filed with the town clerk and to file a copy of said local law with the Secretary of State of New York. Do I have a motion with a friendly amendment to number three to change to local law number four? Yes. I have a motion. I moved. moved. As amended. And I had one moved and I had a, it was like a jinx. So could somebody else second? Second as amended. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Oh, it's roll call. Sorry. Roll okay. Call. Um, Council Member Shaw? Aye. Council Member Detori? Aye. Council Member Wilcher? Aye. Council Member Feldman? Aye. Supervisor Levenberg? Aye. Wonderful. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> For our fourth local law for um, 2018, We're excited to have this on the books, and for all the reasons stated, um, we believe that it will um, make it um, plausible and um, accessible to people to be able to um, have a different, slightly different housing stock available in the town of Austin uh, for people who have. Um, exterior structures that comply with the new law. Anybody else want to have, make any comments? Exciting that we got a local law passed. Okay. Okay. Happy day. All right. Moving okay. on. Um, correspondence received and filed resolved that the town board of the town of Austin hereby accepts the town, town planning board meeting minutes dated October 17th, 2018. Do I have a motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Monthly reports. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Austin hereby accepts the following monthly reports for the month of October 2018. Town Clerk's Office, Town Supervisor's Office, GE Helicopter Report, Town Building Department, Dale Cemetery, and that's it. Do I have a motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unless there's any reason that Council believes that we need to have an executive Session, we do not believe that we do this evening. Uh oh. <laughs> I hate to ruin what's otherwise okay. supposed to be a very festive day. But okay. <laughs> uh, just briefly for advice of council. Okay. Do I have a motion to go into executive session for, very briefly for advice of council? <laughs> so moved. Okay. Right, second. Okay. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, everyone. Um, I look forward to seeing everyone at 16 Croton Avenue next week for our work session, Tuesday, November 20th at 7.30 p.m. And we, as I mentioned before, we'll be presenting our proposed 2019 budget. Please have a great week. Stay warm and be careful. If it does snow, don't forget your snow tires. Good evening.